Here's the next question number 28. The signum function is given by signum of x is equal to x by mod x where x is not equal to 0, 0 where x is equal to 0. The Fourier series expansion of sig signum of cos t has a only sine terms with all harmonics, b only cosine terms with all harmonics, c only sine terms with even numbered harmonics and d only cosine terms with odd numbered harmonics. Okay, so be before we go into how to solve this and get the right option, uh, you should know that a signum function, uh, the word signum is Latin for sine. So in other words, when you see a signum function, it is actually sine, sine of x. When I say sine, I don't mean uh, the trigonometric function sine. I mean S-I-G-N. So here signum, I'll write it down here. Signum is Latin for sine. And this sine function is actually an odd function. It is always an odd function. That's because the sine function is odd and it attracts the sine of a real number. Only the sine of a real number. So here it's given to us that signum of x is equal to x by mod x. But they have asked us the Fourier series expansion of signum cos of t. So let's substitute cos t in terms, uh, in place of x. So when we do that, we get here, signum of cos t is equal to this is cos t divided by mod of cos t, where t is not equal to. Now, when is cos t equal to is uh, 0? It's at pi by 2, 90 degrees. So, this is pi by 2. And signum of cos t would be 0 at t is equal to pi by 2. So, in order to solve this, Let's uh, draw the diagram for sine of cos t, which takes only the sine value, either it is positive or it is negative. And we also know that it comes to 0 at pi by 2. So the function, when we draw the wave function of signum of cos t, we get this waveform here, like so where this is minus 1, this is 1, and the waveform is for sine cos t. And at every point it passes through 0, it is pi by 2. Now you will notice that the function is a half wave symmetric, right? So its Fourier series all consists of only cosine terms. And as the definition for a sigmoid function states that it is an odd function, it will contain only odd numbered harmonics. So based on that, the option, the right option is, it consists of only cosine terms with odd numbered harmonics. So option D is the right answer. Well, I hope this has helped.